everyone, it's Grace. Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome to my channel. So sorry for being AWOL. I've had some big life changes going on. However, I've started streaming Stardew Valley on this channel. If you're interested to check it out, it's from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. PST. I'm trying the new update and trying to hit perfection as well as like all the achievements and basically get as much content out of that update as possible. So if you're interested, you can go ahead and check it out. Now that I've done my shameless self-promoting for today's video, I'll actually be showing you guys how to download mods in Stardew. If you're like me and preparing to do a Stardew modded playthrough or simply want more sustenance in a very complex game and not sure how to go about it, I'm here to help. I'm preparing for a modded let's play of Stardew and have a few mods in mind for how to go about it and wanted to do some modding shopping with you guys and give some kind of tutorial. So let's get started. Before we begin, I do want to mention that mods aren't downloadable on console, so this will be for PC version and I will be doing it on Steam. And before anything, you just want to make sure that you back up your save files. So in order to do so, you want to right click on Stardew Valley in your library, click on properties, and then go into installed files. From there, you can back up game files and choose the folder that it wants to back up in. I did make a folder called Stardew Valley Backup, and I'm just going to select that folder and create backups just to make sure that nothing corrupts my current save files that I have been working on. Now that we've backed up our save files, we are going to go into Nexus Mods, and I will leave a link down below for this website, and we are going to download Smappy. Smappy essentially allows you to add mods mods into your game as well as let you know if something's going on with the mods, if you need an update, if it's broken, and give you all that information before it starts up. And it's just, I believe, like a system in which the game launches through Steam so that you're able to play with mods. Also, before we actually do any shopping, I just want to let you know you do have to create an account for Nexus Mods, but it is completely free and easy to use. So I simply looked up Smappy on the Nexus Mods um, search bar and then I went down to Files and I'm going to specifically download the one for 1.6.4 or later and click manual download and from there I'm just gonna do slow download because it really does not take that long for any of these mods to uh, download into the system. Once Smappy has been downloaded I am going to go ahead and extract all files. From here you are able to drag Smappy into a place on your computer easy to find. I simply just use desktop and I just double click the installer. You choose the device that you are installing on. Since I am using Steam I am going to go ahead and just click one and enter and we are installing so we are also going to click one and enter and they have given us a launch option to copy so I'm going to copy all of that with control C and from here you are able to right click on Stardew Valley again click on properties and then through launch options you are able to paste the command into this line and it should automatically add it in now that Smappy has officially been been added into our game we are able to download mods so I'm going to pick a few that will be helpful for me in my Stardew modded playthrough um, I'm going to look up probably the biggest one I will be adding into the modded playthrough which is Stardew Valley expanded so Again, back on Nexus Mods, I'm going to look up Stardew Valley Expanded. It is important to note that because 1.6 is still considerably new update, a lot of mods have not updated yet. So I just want to make sure that any mod I download is going to be after March 19th. I believe that's when the 1.6 update came out. And Stardew Valley Expanded, the creator did work with Concerned Ape on the 1.6 update, which I thought was really cool. And they were able to update the mod same day so that it is compatible with 1.6. So again, I'm going to click manual download and here it says that we have additional files required. You want to make sure that you have downloaded all of these additional mods in order for the mod you're currently trying to add to work. So I'm going to go ahead and download these two. Once you have downloaded the mod that you want to add, you're going to go back on Steam and you're going to right click on Stardew Valley and click manage and browse local files. From here, you'll be able to find your mods folder. I did pin mine to the side just so it's easier to move mods to and I'm going to click download and I have already extracted content patcher and I'm just going to add it to my mods folder. I do want to point out if you do need help finding mods, um, there are a bunch of great YouTube videos out there that have done mod reviews as well as there is a page on Nexus simply for Stardew Valley since I 
I want to say this is one of their bigger games that they have a lot of mods for. I do want to do a recoloring type mod so I am going to be browsing and I will see you guys when I find one that I really really like. While looking for something I do see this garden furniture which I think is super cute and is kind of going to go with the vibe I'm going for in this game and it's whimsical indoor furniture set for content patcher. I think these are actually so cute. That's a Adorable. I'm <laughs> downloading this ASAP actually. I will say looking for a new farm to download in and replace any farm type in the game. I will be doing just the one from Stardew Valley Expanded because it is the recommended one and I'm not too experienced with the Stardew Valley Expanded mod itself. I just want to be on the safe side and get as much content as possible from this. I did decide to add the Look Up Anything mod amongst a few others. However, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that this video will help you in terms of adding mods for 1.6 and further updates in the future. I'm so excited to start this Let's Play. I can't wait to discover all the content with you guys that I am bringing into my game and yeah if you want to catch me at a stream like I said it'll be most days from 6 p.m. to 8 again a lot of life changes going on so I don't really have a set schedule right now and I'm so sorry about it but I'm hoping to continue making content in the near future if you have any questions be sure to leave them down below or you can just leave some positivity as well and I will see you guys in the next one bye